Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using Vue.js. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to handle errors in Vue.js. This video is part of our Vue.js authorization tutorial. Let's start with it. Now that we completed everything there is one last thing we need to take care of. What happens when an error happens? So let's type the wrong email and password on the login form. We can see now that nothing happens. But we need to show an error on top of this that the email and password are incorrect. Let's do the changes in our code. Go to login component and wrap this request with a try catch statement. We will catch the error here. So what will we do with the error for now we will just display a message here on the header. Let's write div class alert alert danger and the role alert. And here let's add a new variable error. And let's show the error here. So in case we get an error, let's see this error is equal to invalid username password. And we want this message to show if the error is set. Now let's open the browser and you can see that we don't see the error. If we type a wrong email and password combination you can see that we got the error in valid username and password. Let's do the same thing with the other components. But first before doing that I will create an error component. I will create an error component because this code will be duplicated a lot. Let's go to the components and create error.view. Here add a template and script. For the error let's cut this code and paste it here. We do not need a v if here. And here export default. Name will be error. We also need props, because we will pass the error via the properties. Now let's import the error. Type import error from error. And here we will have components error. Let's add it here, error with an error which is equal to error. This is how it looks like. Let's open the page and we can see that we have an error here. We forgot to add a column here. So we still see a red line because we need to add a v if here, if the error is set. Now the page looks fine. If we type a wrong email it will say the same error message. Let's copy this component now and add it to the other components. Let's go to the register. Paste it here and an error parameter. And try catch here. Yeah. 
and inside the catch write this dot error equals to error occurred. We also need to import the component. Copy this line and paste it here. Also copy these lines and paste them here. Now if you go to the register page, fill some data here. Type submit and you will see the message error occurred. We can do this thing for all the components, but you get the idea. Now there is one last thing that we need to add and we need to add a success message when the email is sent. Let's go to the forgot password and add here message. And let's copy the same line for our error component. But let's change one thing, from alert danger to alert success. and add an if condition message. So if a successful response happens, we will just say this dot message equal to the email was sent. And now let's add the error also. Add the error here also. This error equals to error occurred. Let's go back to our login. Copy this and paste it here. Copy this line too and paste it here. And last thing we need to copy is this one and paste it here. So in the beginning we don't have any message. If we write the wrong email here, an error happens. When we write the right email, well I made a mistake here that I show the errors, so I would show the message here. And when we set the message, we need to set the error to an empty string. and to do the same thing here. So let's write the right email. And now write another wrong email. Everything works fine. Thank you for watching this tutorial and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.